Hi everybody, today let's take a look at the third uh, character or miniature from Marvel Crisis Protocol, uh, Fantastic Four. We're going to look today at uh, Johnny, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and um, I'm going to tell a little bit about how I painted him. Um, um, I decided I wanted to use uh, solely the new um, contrast uh, paint by Citadel, and that's exactly what I did. I painted the red part. I painted him all red, and then the yellow, um, the yellow parts, uh, the yellow part of the flame. I used um, Imperial, Imperial Fist, and. Um, yeah, it um, was pretty straightforward. I, you know, as I said before, you know, I wanted to try the new Citadel um, contrast, and my friendly local gaming store um, had them. So um, I bought some of, you know, I bought the um, the yellows and some of the other technically ones. But anyway, um, yeah, it was just it was pretty straightforward. You know, ball red for the red parts, and then um, it was a little too red, a little too bright. So I used um, strong. Um, Army Painter Strong Tone Ink, um, you know, cut with the um, ink, um, the ink thinner. I forgot what it's quick shade. I think it's quick shade uh, medium. <clears throat> so I cut that, and it, it, I got a little more dimension. Um, you know, a little more three D. It, it settled in the eye sockets and kind of made the face a little more defined when uh, when I hit it with that wash. Um, <clears throat> pretty straightforward. I like this yellow, I like Imperial fist yellow um, and then just the base I just made it black I didn't put any te uh, any texture on it um, just painted a German gray um, Vallejo paint <clears throat> which to me is like probably the best uh, just black paint out there um, yeah um, of the Fantastic Four I like um, uh, Johnny Storm's not my favorite. He's probably my fourth favorite um, um, Fantastic Four character. Um, I'm looking forward to using him in Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, I bought this one already printed uh, from uh, Jotunheim Studio. I'll put a link below. He has the pre-printed stuff. Um, C27 miniatures. Again, they have the um, just the you know they have the 3D files. Uh, if you just want the 3D files, but I suggest uh, if you want it printed, if you don't have a 3D printer or you just don't want to print them, um, talk to Jotunheim Studios. He also has the uh, um, the variant cards, so you can do the Fantastic Four in the um, can do the Fantastic Four in Marvel, Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, I tried to paint him like uh, the. Kind of, sort of like uh, the Kirby, the Kirby era Fantastic Four. There's one thing that really has bothered me for years, uh, probably about at least 40 years that I've been reading the Fantastic Four, is that um, the color is backwards. Um, if the heat um, in fl in flame, the source of the heat, you know, the closer to, you know, like whatever's burning is burning should be yellow, not, uh, and then it gets red, uh, orange, and then red um, as the flames go, go higher and higher, the flames grew higher, to quote Johnny Cash, and um, so technically, scientifically, uh, Johnny Storm should be yellow, and then the flame should be red, and then tapering off to black, but I guess it's the cosmic rays, um, you know, you can kind of explain it with cosmic rays. You know, um, having the effect that it did on uh, Johnny. Um, what a hothead. <laughs> okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. Who's your favorite Fantastic Four? Have you used the Fantastic Four in Marvel Crisis Protocol? Um, again, this is, um, you know, I'm kind of practicing for when the Marvel Zombies, um, Zombicide uh, game comes out. And uh, the next installment will be Susan Storm. And I, I have a little... Um, you know, the invisible, invisible woman, to quote the Bee Gees. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll be, you know, I'll be final, finalizing uh, the Fantastic Four with Susan Storm. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, I'll have, I'll have the info below where you can uh, get, um, get such figs. Uh, I'm, and by the way, I'm also liking the new um, uh, Citadel uh, contrast. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye now.